Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to send Gmail messages through Python. Uh, we're going to start with a demonstration here using this register form that I created using Python's Flask, HTML, and JavaScript. So once you put an email here, you just click verify email. It says OTP sent your email. And let's go back and as you can see, we did receive an OTP. And we use it to register our profile. So before we actually send Gmail messages from our account, we have to make sure it, uh, it's actually able to send messages. And first things first, you have to set up two-factor authorization under security. And afterwards, just go on to search at passwords. And afterwards, you'll be redirected here, where you then generate your app password. Just click select app other, and just click generate. Okay, so now that we're done with our Google account setup, we're actually going to start with a code. So first things first, we're going to create certain variables, email sender. And this is where the emails are being sent from. This is the account that we actually set up the two-factor author authorization and the app password for. And here is going to be our email password, which is the app password generated. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be reading it from another file for security reasons. And I encourage you to do the same if you're publishing the repository online or, or basically for public use. So now we're going to import uh, our important modules. So first, it's going to be SSL. SSL will basically allow us to establish our SSL or TLS connections. Then we're going to import SMTP library and from email message we're going to import email message. So we're going to create another variable and this is going to be email receiver. And now email receiver is where we're going to send all the email messages to and this is really depending on your project needs. So for the sake of this tutorial I'm just sending it to myself. So we're going to create our email message class and what email message class does is encapsulates all of the email details here such as to, from, your subject, and your body details. And let's just do just that, and let's just create a from, which is going to be email sender, email to the email receiver, and email subject would be, let's just put it as test subject. Now let's set content, which is going to be our body. So let's just, hello, I am subject. Test body. Okay. Now we're going to actually establish our connection. So first things first, you got to set our default context for our SL, for SSL and or TLS connection. So let's just do that by setting SSL dot create default context. Now we're going to attempt our login using SMTP library, and I'm just going to create this command. So first things first, what we're going to put in is going to be Gmail's SMTP server, the port, and the context. So in this case, Gmail SMTP server is smtp.gmail.com. And the, okay, for the port number, there are several that you can use. The mainly is 465 or 587. Now, 465 has been deprecated by several, if I'm not wrong, ISPs or something like that. So 587 is more commonly used and is encouraged to be used. So let's just do that instead. So in this case, since we're not using 465, we're just going to use 587. It's going to be smtp dot smtp and 587 here. So let's just create our start TLS. Set our context that we set up earlier. Then let's just log in. So log in, basically putting our email sender, the one that we set up for and the email password that we are reading it from another file then we're actually going to send our email and let's put em here and that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and test it out okay so there's no errors that's a good sign let's go back to our gmail and let's just check it out There we go. So here we go. We actually received our email, uh, basically the subject, and then hello, I'm test body. So that's pretty much it. How to send emails from uh, Python using the Gmail's SMTP server, and it still works in 2023, even though they did remove the less secure apps uh, restriction, um, and, and that's no problem. Okay. 
Now just for an additional feature, we're going to actually learn how to do a simple OTP system. Um, so we're just going to import a bit more modules, just going to import random, and we're going to import um, string. So let's just create a OTP function, right? generate OTP. So basically what we want is, let's say we have a string 0, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we just want to pick up any four digits. Um, we can have multiple in any order and so forth. So it can be done with this command. So random, dot, random provides this choices method and string.digits. So what string.digits is, is basically this that I just typed in. It's just a field that's provided by the string class. So I'm sorry, the string uh, module. And we're just going to put k equals to 4, which is the amount, which is the length of our uh, OTP that we're creating. So what this does, it just picks up any 4 that can be in any order, and it can be in, um, it can be as many times as possible. So, so it could be 0, 0, 0, uh, 1, 1, 1, 4, 2, 3, and 4. And we're just going to return OTP. Let's just start comment about So in this case, um, let's just put it as OTP plus generate OTP. OTP is yeah. And let's just try to send our email now. Let's go ahead and check it out. And there we go. We have a randomly generated OTP. And using the same method that we did earlier, we have real OTP is 5386, which is pretty much how we actually created our system here. A little small, more details on that. Maybe I'll do a future video on how we actually did this using Python's Flask, HTML, and JavaScript. So uh, that's pretty much it for uh, this tutorial, how to actually uh, send email messages and actually generate a simple OTP using this uh, function, using random and string. So thanks for watching and goodbye.